So this question comes from YouTube. Comes from Nathan. And he's getting married, so he's looking for some advice here real quick. Okay, real quick. Real quick. Hurry, I gotta, I gotta be fast. So he's getting married next, oh, it's the next March, so he's got a little time. Okay. Not and that a, fast. And, a, and, a be, and to his beautiful fiance, mm-hmm. um, who isn't in the kilts. Uh-oh. So for the ceremony, he'll be wearing slacks, but during his reception next kilt. Is this a good idea as a compromise? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'd say so. The <clears throat> weddings are about the union of the two and making sure both of you are happy with the day. Um, the It's not... I've, I've, I've hated the, the insinuation that it's her day. You do what she wants kind of thing. It's... No, it's you're starting a life together. It should be both of your day. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm quoting Monty, one of our mods on our Facebook group, who said that marriage is not 50-50. Marriage is 100-100. It should be you trying to make the other person happy and them trying to make you happy. It should be both. That is the secret to a happy marriage. And I love that quote from him. So, yes, finding a compromise, especially on that day, is is a good thing to do. The majority of the photos are going to be at the altar and right after that and, you know, as you're walking out of the church and things. So having that, if she has a particular thing in her mind of this is how I envision that day, then I appreciate that and that's fine. And her being willing to compromise and say, you know what, but I know it means something to you and I think that we should be able to, like, enter the, you know, enter the reception. A, you're going to get a big standing round of ovation. Well, A, because you're married. But B, because... I hope so. <laughs> also because you're wearing the kilt, especially yeah. if you get, like, her a sash or something to bring her into it a little bit after, like, the vast majority of the pictures are done, just to show, like, hey, this is a fun new thing. It's going to, like, up the ante of the reception itself and kind of set the tone for now it's the fun time. Yeah. So I like the idea as a compromise, I still I still like kilts for formal. I wore mine for the wedding itself. Of course. But as a compromise, it's not a bad compromise. Yeah, I think it's sounds pretty good. I mean, the part of the thing to remember that we always mention in these situations is that it may be her personal preference. It may also be that she's dealing with the preferences of those in her family. And, you know, you want them to be comfortable and uh, not feel awkward during the ceremony also. I mean, it's about you guys, not them. But you want to be a good host, so there's something to that, and uh, it's about building harmony for that moment. Uh, I think that, indeed, you'll definitely get more of a, a reaction and, and more of a fun reaction from people during the reception. The kilt, you know, people will definitely appreciate the kilt, yep. and there'll be a lot of pictures. Um, the other thought would be, I mean, if you are feeling left out somehow, um, are there other celtic kind of things you're adding to the ceremony that you can do even if you're not wearing the kilt? You know, there's people who do, um, you know, like the, the, the sash thing, regardless of whether there's kilt or not. There's other traditions you can incorporate that would give you a nice old world, you know, Scottish, Irish, what have you, flair uh, and meaning without uh, actually wearing that particular garment. So hopefully there's some elements that would make it colorful and, you know, more meaningful for you in the moment. Yeah, more aesthetically pleasing because obviously it's going to be meaningful It's a marriage. Yeah. But no, I think I think just by the fact that you're uh, you're both willing to compromise yeah. right out of the gates is a very good sign. So, yep. you know, to your Absolutely. marriage. Yeah. Congratulations. Lang me your lumreek. Exactly. Oh, that's my other favorite toast, but that's only for, you know, okay. yeah. Lang me your lumreek. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Did you get married in a kilt or did you wear a kilt at your reception or did you have some kind of compromise with your spouse? How did it work out? And did you have a beautiful experience? I'm betting you did no matter how it went. Tell us in the comments what your story was. If you want more tips on formal wear and Celtic weddings, we do have some stuff over here on that.